Hi, welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. I am pleased to bring you another installment of the Fan Home Build the Millennium Falcon. Now, this is the studio copy of the Empire Strikes Back Millennium Falcon, and it's fantastic. I'll be working on pack number five, which comprises of stages 17 through 21. Now, if you haven't done so already, head over to Fan Home and subscribe to this build today. Get it while it's available and don't miss out. With that, let's get started. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. I am back with another installment of the Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon. I am working on pack number five. Now, in number five includes five more stages, stage 17 through 21. Let's look at the parts that are included with this pack. Stage 17. Stage 18. You can see we received the the stand or the, the base for the uh, Millennium Falcon skeletal frame. Help support it while we build it. Stage 19. Stage 20. And stage 21. Let's get started on stage 17. Let's begin pack five with stage 17. We'll look at the magazine just here real quick. Great magazine here, around 12 pages, semi-gloss pages. Great articles throughout. Highly recommend it because you're gonna learn a lot about the Star Wars universe. And then we have a complete listing of the parts you'll receive with each stage. That's this right here. This issue includes cushion pads, an upper part of the starboard corridor, which I started to assemble in back in stage 16 and will now be able to complete. I will also have another frame and section of plating for the bottom of the hull. And here's the uh, cushions for the corridor itself, the bottom cushions and then the upper cushions and the top of the corridor. And then we'll work on uh, putting those halves together and giving it a test fit here. Let me get the parts. I'll be right back. Here's the parts for stage 17. Let's get a closer look. Here's a close-up of those parts. That's made of plastic. Looks very nice there. Weathered a little bit. The cushion parts themselves made of plastic. That's what they look like top of the corridor, a connector ring and frame, connector for the frame and the screws. Let's get started. And here's all the parts we need to assemble all the cushions for the corridor. This is uh, was assembled in stage 16. And of course here's the top of that connector ring and then all the cushions. I'll be right back. And I'll cut the parts off the sprue just like this, sand them down a bit. I'll be using my ABS glue here. And applying it where it pretty much goes down there. This stuff does evaporate pretty fast, but it's going to be a stronger bond than the super glue. With super glue, you run the risk of through time and age, it gets very brittle. And I, I just don't like using super glue, but although a lot of people do use it and you can use it and they do recommend it, but the ABS glue is perfect for this plastic because it is ABS. And here's all the pads installed on the lower corridor. Very cool. Now we'll go ahead and put the pads on the upper corridor. And all the cushions are installed and that's what they look like on the top. I'm going to go ahead and give this a clear coat of matte finish from Krylon to hide some of the shiny glue and all that that spilled over. And after that's done, then I'll put it together. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so the corridor has been spray painted with uh, matte clear from Krylon. Looks really good. It takes the shine down from any excess glue. Both sides here, so I'm going to put this together and make sure that these tabs on top line up with the holes on top of the corridor. Everything should snap together here. There we go. And all snap together. Tabs all line up on top. I'm going to go ahead and take this and we're going to put this ring on. It doesn't look like it goes any certain way. Just like that. And that's what that looks like there. We'll line this up to the corridor temporarily, but it won't be uh, glued on there just yet. It's going to be a temporary fit. And there it is, hooked up to the cargo hold. It's just uh, fitting on there. It's not glued on, just temporary, just to give you an idea on where it gets installed normally. Show you from this side. Very cool, very detailed there, very nice. So that's all I do with stage 17. Let's head over and get started on stage 18. Welcome back, let's build stage 18 from pack five. Look at the magazine real quick here, Falcons upgrades. That's very cool there. Tantive 4, and I have a big resin kit from that. Randy Cooper kit. I'll be building that on the channel. And it says here, this issue includes two padded arches for the cockpit passage. There is also another section of plating for the bottom of the hull. And finally, the first part of the assembly jig. And we'll go ahead and mark the jig to this uh, issue so we know where it came from. Hull frames, we're going to put those together and they want us to test fit the hull plating. I'm not going to do that, I'm going to skip that. And then assembling the corridor arches, we have two of those we need to assemble. And again, I'll do those off camera. But there's the assembly jig. Let me get the parts, I'll be right back. Here's the parts for 18. Assembly jig is in there, it's kind of hard to see. Let's get a closer look at the parts. And here's what's new in this as far as the assembly jig. This is the jig itself, and it's basically a vacuum form material, very clear there. And we'll be able to put our frame down on top of it, plus some pads for it. I want to go ahead and mark it so I know where this came from. So this came from stage 18. There we go. Let's get started. Next I'll install the frame from stage 17 and the frame from this stage, stage 18. And that's what they look like. That's where they will go. Once again, I'll get all the screws started, keep them loose. And once everything is installed with all the screws, then I'll tighten them down. And the reason why I do that, these frames can be very fragile, and if you try to force something, they could actually break. So let's do that, and I will be right back. And there you go, all the screws are installed. It's still loose, I need to tighten them down. Um, that is what it looks like. Now remember that these parts are pre-threaded, so the screws do not cut into the metal and make their own threads. The threads are already there. You don't have to put oil on your screws. I'll be right back. And there you go, these two parts have been installed and they are tight. Looks good. That's what the other side looks like. Now let's go ahead and assemble the corridor arches. 
I'll be assembling two of these arches, putting all the pads on them, cutting them off, sanding off the extra sprue nubs, and gluing them down with my ABS glue. I'll be right back. And here's the corridor arch padding completed. All glued down, and of course I use the ABS glue for that. Also, we have the frame jig here from uh, stage 18. I installed the little foam pads here already. And we'll be collecting a bunch of these and making a complete circle to put the Millennium Falcon on top of. And that's all I do with stage 18. Let's head over and do stage 19. Let's get started on stage 19. Looking good here. Building a lot so far. I really enjoy this. In this issue, a new type of assembly. The underside of the hull has two deep recesses in the outer plating. These are fitted on the inside of the metal framework. But first you need to install the machinery that fills these areas. You can then emphasize detail with paint as shown in page on page 9. So these are all the parts we got here. And that's the details we're talking about, the whole details. We're going to assemble another arch with padding. Interior details there. So we're going to do uh, the recess details there. I'm going to follow the instructions with that. Let me give you a close-up view of this real quick. So well, you know where these detail pieces go, these greeblies. And that's what it looks like there. Then we'll paint it with some black. I'll get my airbrush out and paint those. And then we have to build that padding arch there. So we'll be doing that off camera and installing them on the passage tube here. Let's get started. Here's the parts for stage 19. And here's the parts. Here's the uh, passageway right here. Very similar to what we've already done on that. The walkway. Interior part here. All the greeblies, the end caps for that. Of course, the padding and the screws. I glued in an F bulkhead right there. Part number one is installed. Note that it has holes for the piping. Part number two is installed here, this pipe, and it's glued in place. Part number three is installed and glued in place right there. Part number four is glued in place. That's this panel right here. Part number five, this set of pipes is glued in place. And this is called part number two. It was installed and there's three tabs that were glued. Part number six here is glued in place. And lastly, part number seven is installed right there. This part here won't be used at this time. It's going to be used later on for the hole plating. So I'm going to keep it in a safe place. Here's a passage tube. And to secure the floor, I put in six of the four millimeter brass screws. And then, of course, the passageway tubes here with the padding on there making sure that all the tabs line up and the, like I said they're not exactly in the middle but they're going to be more towards this direction which is what the instructions kind of show so there you go that completes stage 19 let's head over and do stage 20 
Let's see what we're going to do in stage 20. And this is again part of pack number five. Give you a preview of the instructions here real quick. Very cool. Medium transport, GR75, and then moving on with that. Next parts, assemble the passage two by fitting the rectangular section that link it to the main ring corridor. Like the rest of the corridors, this area is heavily lined with padded cushions. So we're going to be working on some of the padded cushions there on the right. And installing those padded cushions on the very end here it looks like. Let me get the parts and I will be right back. Here's the parts for stage 20. Let's get started. Here's another part of the jig. I went ahead and marked it with the number 20 for stage 20. Here's the bulkheads for the pads. I'm going to be putting these pads on in this stage. More frames and the little bumper pads for the jig. Here's the key to the corridor liners. Shows you how they're numbered and how they're going to be installed on the corridors. Here's the corridor liners. They look good. I'll go ahead and install these next on the corridor. And there they are installed. Two tabs on the bottom got pushed in for each one. I glued them in place and that's how they look. That's all I do with stage 20. Let's head over and do the final stage for pack 5 and that would be stage 21. Let's look at stage 21, which is the final stage for pack 5. Take you through the magazine here just real quick. Very cool there. The maintenance bays. And continue assembling the passage 2 by lining the base with padded cushions which are provided on the sprues as before and that's and fitting the cushion pads on this side once again they are numbered I'll give you a close-up of that and there you go and that's what that looked like when we're done let me get the parts I'll be right back here's parts for stage 21 let's get a closer look Here's a close-up of those parts, and that looks great there. And looks like it should. Here's the pads for that quarter. Another frame component, and some screws and connectors. Here's the padding installed on this corridor, and it's only been done on one side. We'll do the other side, I'm sure, in the next pack. That's all I do with stage 21. I'll be right back. And that completes pack 5. I had a blast building everything here. Relatively pretty simple to do here. Um, not as intense as pack 4. But this one is great. I'm looking forward to receiving pack number six. If you haven't done so already, head over to Fan Home and subscribe to this Millennium Falcon today. It's fantastic. I put a direct link down below in the description. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.